I genuinely do not seek to stifle robust debate, but this evening the Prime Minister has continually used pejorative language to describe an Act of Parliament passed yeah. by this House. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure yeah. that you would agree, Mr Speaker, that we should not resort to using offensive, dangerous or inflammatory language for legislation that we do not like. And we stand here, Mr Speaker, under the shield of our departed friend, with many of us in this place subject to death threats and abuse every single day. And let me tell the Prime Minister that they often quote his words, surrender act, betrayal. Traitor, and I, for one, am sick of it. We must moderate our language, and it has to come from the Prime Minister first. So I would be interested in hearing his opinion. He should be absolutely ashamed of himself. I think, Mr. Speaker, I have to tell you, Mr. Speaker, I, 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 I have to say, Mr. Speaker, I've never heard such humbug in all my life. Because this is a this is a bill this is a bill hearing from the prime minister words like the humiliation act the surrender act the capitulation act all of these words are suggesting that we, because we disagree with him, we are traitors. We are not patriots. I, nothing could be further from the truth. Yeah, yeah. Now, this may be a strategy to set the people against the establishment. Yeah. I would like to gently suggest he is the establishment yeah. and we are still people. As the woman <laughs> who has taken over a, a seat that was left by our dear friend Joe Cox, can I ask him? In all honesty, for, as a human being, please, please, will he, going forward, moderate his language so that we will all feel secure when we're going about our jobs? Yeah. Can, I say, can I say that the surest far away? Well, no, I mean, I, Mr. Speaker, I think, I think the. Of course, there will be an attempt to try to uh, obfuscate the effect of this act, but it does uh, the capitulation act or the surrender act or whatever you want to call it. It does. It does. I'm sorry, but it it greatly enfeebles it greatly enfeebles this government's ability to negotiate. But what I will say is that the best way to honour the memory of Joe Cox and indeed the best way to uh, bring this country together would be, I think, to get. Brexit done. And I, I absolutely do.